Dynamic Access Titles are finally here. I knew this day would come. In the past, when we had dynamic measures, we had to be creative in simulating a dynamic title. This is an example of a chart that has dynamic measures. We have a parameter in here, derived from that parameter over there, and what we are displaying in here is based on a calculated field. Let's take a look at these in a little bit more detail. So let's right click on the parameter, edit the parameter, and in here we simply have a string parameter that has different display values and that's what we're showing on screen. Let's close this. Let's take a look at our calculated field. So let's filter this for calculated fields, right click and edit the calculated field so we can see the expression. So the calculated field is based on the chosen parameter value. The challenge in here from version 2022 and earlier is the axis title that shows up by default is based on the name of our calculated field, which really doesn't mean much. Ideally, this should show total sales, total profit, average sales, average profit, but we can't do that. Let's close this first. The reason we can't do that is because in the earlier versions, when you edit the axis, what you're going to see under axis titles is simply a text box. This is hard coded. And again, at this point, this is going to be based on the calculated field name, which really doesn't mean much. So in the past, what we had to do was we had to bring the parameter over. We had to remove the original axis title. So right click, edit, and remove the original axis title. And then in here, we need to rotate the parameter value. So right click, rotate the label. And then we also need to hide the field labels. So we can right click this and hide field label for rows. So now when we change our measure value, total sales, total profit, average sales, and average profit, what this is really taking is a string value. But now starting version 2023 onwards, it is much simpler. All we need to do is to right click on our axes, edit the axes, and we're going to see a new option right here. In the past, axis titles only accepted a static string, not anymore. We can now choose parameter values in here. So on the drop down, if we have any parameters that can be chosen, they're going to show up in this particular drop down. So let's choose this measure. And again, without having to drag the parameter over, let's close this. We should now see our titles change. And this update has been long overdue. So I am glad that it's finally here. And that's it for this quick tip. I'll see you again next time.